Hey guys, this video is dedicated to Cliff Wagner Jr. who was one of the stuntmen on this uh, film. Who sadly passed away by performing a stunt that unfortunately took his life. Hey guys, welcome to a new movie review for First Blood Part 2, Rambo. <laughs> Man. Uh, straight off the bat, guys, I'm just going to say um, this is very, 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 very obvious um, that this film had a much larger budget, like way, way larger than the first one. Um, the the overall explosions, the, the film crew, the sets, um, the locations where they shot at, was it was so incredibly obvious that they had a lot more money to play with um, on this movie than what they did um, in the, fir the first blood, the, the, yeah, the second one, uh, the first one, sorry. Um, this film obviously has again, um, Sylvester Stallone and um, you know, all the main characters and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, this movie, uh, it's funny because normally when you think about doing a sequel to a movie, normally the first movie is better in, in a lot of cases, the first movie is better, but I honestly have to say, guys, that this movie, because of the production budget and stuff like that, the storyline, I actually have a feeling that I've liked this one so far. I really do. Um, the storyline was great. Everything about it was just, it really, really had just volumes higher very clearly to the first one. And... Um, you know that you could just see just by watching it that they they yeah they had a lot of money to play with on this one obviously i'm not too sure how much i didn't check that out before i did the video which doesn't really matter but um you know obviously now sylvester stallone is incredibly wealthy and you know he's set up for a lot for the rest of his life because he's done all these just absolutely incredible movies um one thing that i really liked about this movie guys is the storyline made a lot more sense they got him from the prison that he went to in the first one. They uh, they basically said we have a uh, we have a, a place for you to go. We want we want you to go on this mission. Um, he goes to, on the mission and he finds a, a you know his point of reference, which is the lady that he runs into, and then yeah, he just goes around and just saves up, tries to save a whole heap of dudes. And at the end of the day, you know he he succeeds, which is you know awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, I honestly, guys, I would definitely recommend this movie over the first movie, but definitely watch the first movie because in continuity, um, it makes more sense to watch it in order because you'll see what I mean. It, this, it's like a storyline and, um, obviously this is the second one in the storyline, kind of like the Fast and Furious franchise, That that's actually what it reminded me. Oh, and just letting you know. I was really surprised that there actually is a foreshadowing, and I don't know if this is deliberate, but it's a foreshadowing for the Expendable movies. So as you know, Sylvester Stallone is, an, is a massive role in the Expendable movies. He's one of the main characters. And in First Blood Part 2, he actually references, I'm just Expendable. So I thought that was a really, really, really cool nod. If it isn't, then that was that's just irony. But if it is then that's really cool. I really appreciated what they did there. Guys, thank you so much for watching this review. I really appreciate it. Until next time, see ya.